as always. <laughs> hey, getting kids to read can be a challenge, but Clark County Schools are coming up with a unique program to help. Meteorologist Kevin Janison is live from the Centennial Hills Library with a great bunch of folks all taking part in Literacy Night. KJ? All right, Jessica, thank you very much. We have quite a collection of young folks from Betsy Rhodes Elementary celebrating their literacy night, and we have their parents, but I think they're hiding behind the camera there. They're all members of the Witness Protection Program, so we couldn't put them on, on TV. We have my good friend Dylan here. Dylan was giving me some hair tips. What exactly did you put in your hair? Um, I put in gel. <laughs> Do the girls like it? Uh, I, a lot. <laughs> what? How old are you? Uh, eight. I'm in your class. Eight years old. All right, more from Dylan and the rest of our guests in a second, but there's weather to talk about. You know, we started out with those winds this morning, especially in this neighborhood up in the northwest part of the valley. They gusted between 32 and 37 miles per hour. They are beginning to relax, but they won't go away completely until late tomorrow. Temperature-wise, couldn't get out of the 70s today, but really the weather headline on the temperatures, the morning low, 64 degrees. That was a new record for the warmest low temperature on this date. Over to the satellite picture we go, and if you squint, you might see a couple of high things clouds. They actually drifted off to the south. I can see them there way off in the distance. Now as we widen up the satellite picture, we are clear. High pressure's building in. Look at all those clouds in the Pacific. They're heading up toward the Pacific Northwest, and that's about as close as we're going to, they're going to get to us. In fact, it's going to be smooth sailing and warm sailing into the weekend. Let's talk temperatures. First of all, the lows tonight. Ooh, chilly up in Lincoln County, going down to the 30s. We've got uh, just below freezing up there on Mount Charleston, but lots of 70s and 80s elsewhere. In fact, Boulder City at 81, Laughlin at 88, uh, the mountain only getting into the 62 degree range. That would be for tomorrow's highs. Tonight's lows are kind of chilly, but those highs, as I showed you, we've got lots of communities in the upper 70s to the low 80s. And as we take a look at the Las Vegas forecast for tonight, mid 50s will be the low. A few leftover breezes, but not as breezy as what we saw earlier today. Then tomorrow's high temperature, lots of sunshine, maybe a five to 15 mile per hour breeze in the morning, but that'll go away. 81, the official high temperature tomorrow, mid 80s on Friday, and the seven day forecast. Look at Saturday, we're flirting with a big 9 0. Now we will back off a little bit, but we're still talking the last few days of March, mid 80s to about 90 degrees with overnight lows generally around 60 or even at times in the lower 60s. Now, back here, these kids have been doing a great job. Of You've all been reading, right? Yeah. 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 What, what, what did you tell me you were reading? Nice job. And what did you tell me you were reading? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. We're going to be looking at that report card. Wait, I've got... You know? What, what have you been reading? And it's got to being awesome. Nice job. We've got Clifford here. We've got my friend Shiloh. Shiloh, how old are you? Seven. And you're in what grade? First. What kind of work are you doing in first grade? You doing some math? Mm, yes. A little reading? Yes. Are you doing trigonometry? No. Are you doing lunch? Yes. Political science? No. She's good. <laughs> She's real good. All right. All right. Well, Dylan, you've already had your five seconds of fame. You're done, buddy. So these are our friends. We're going to go in and we're going to talk to them about how they too can be authors and put a book together. But I promise them if they let me get through the weather and I wasn't bleeding, they would have, a ch they would have one chance to do what? Um, act crazy. I, well, actually, actually, I said go wild. But if you'd like to act crazy, you may act crazy. Here is your chance. Go wild. <laughs> From the Centennial Hills Library, the strategy is get it all out of them now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Note, we'll send it back inside to you.